If you laugh at my Christmas tree, you know where you're going. <laughs> Today, we are sublimating glass ornaments with three different heat presses. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. This is one of the glass ornaments that I sublimated off camera before we ever got started. You know I'm not going to leave anything out. I'm going to show you all the things. I'm going to show you how to press from every heat press that I have, and then we, you will be able to make a decision about which one you love the most. At the end of this video, if you find this information helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's look at materials and head right on over to Cricut Design Space. The materials I'm going to use for this project include my Cricut Maker, heat resistant gloves, a green standard grip mat, heat resistant tape, I'm using these glass ornaments that I purchased from Amazon. They come 24 to a package and every ornament is contained in this little wrapping right here. I'm using butcher paper. My ink is Hippo Sublimation Ink. My paper is A Sub Sublimation Paper. I'm printing from my Epson Eco Tank 2760, which has been converted for use with sublimation ink. I'm also going to be using three different heat presses. I'm going to use the HTD Run Auto Heat Press, my Cricut 9x9 Easy Press, and my Starcraft Clamshell 15x15 Heat Press. The, this ribbon is optional. I purchased this from Walmart. Okay, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to the Cricut Maker. I'm going to quickly show you how I upload my photos and how I change the shape of them. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Upload Image. I already have my images saved in Cricut Design Space. I typically store my photos in Google Photos and I upload them into Cricut Design Space for my use. So this image comes in and it is going to come in big. I am going to grab a shape, I'm going to grab a circle. I am going to make the circle a little bit bigger and change it from a basic cut to a pen. I'm going to make sure that the circle is arranged to, um, let me arrange the photo to stay in the back. And I want the circle to stay on top. The reason why I'm doing that is so that once I start to resize the circle, I can see and make sure that both of our faces are clearly seen in the circle and, and that no one's face is cut off. I'm going to select the circle and the photo and I'm going to click slice and that will give me my first image. I am going to repeat this process. I'm going to delete this, it's just extra. And I am going to grab another image that I want to use for my ornaments. I'm going to go to view all and just select some of the photos that I've used in previous projects. I'm gonna add it to my canvas and it's going to come in big. I'm just going to bring the view down. I'm going to use the same circle. I'm going to arrange it and make sure it's in the front. I'm going to put it on top of our photo and make sure I can see everyone's face clearly. I'm going to select the photo and the circle and I'm going to click slice and then I'll move the circle out and the photo. I'm going to delete this. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to select one more image. I'm going to select upload. I'm going to go to view all and I am going to select one more photo that I have used in a previous project to use in this tutorial. I will select this photo right here. I'm gonna add it to my canvas. And I love this photo, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing. So this photo is a little bit more rectangular than the other photos. I'm gonna make sure the circle is in the front and make sure that I can see everyone and that no one's face is cut off. So sometimes you'll have to arrange the photo and sometimes you'll have to arrange the circle. It just depends on the size and the shape of the photo. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, no. Okay, I have to make sure that none of the, the photo is cut off. I'm gonna select the photo and the circle and slice and everyone is in there. I'm gonna delete this. 
and I can delete this circle for now. I'm going to change the size of each of these circles to a width of 3.1. It'll automatically change the height because it is a circle. I'm going to select this one and change it to 3.1. Okay. And I am ready to click make it. Okay. I have my images on the mat. I'm going to just move them over just a little bit. This is a matter of personal preference. You don't have to do this part. I'm going to mirror these images. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to send this to my printer. I'm using my Epson EcoTank 2760. Okay. And I'm going to keep the ad bleed on. I'm going to use system dialog. I'm going to click print. When my printer options come up, I am not going to mirror this because it is already mirrored in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to select my sublimation preset with the mirror off and I can do a print preview. Once I click print, it's going to show me what my images will look like. This is perfect. I am going to click print and everything we'll do from here will be back on the camera. I'm using one sheet of a sub sublimation paper and I'm going to put it in this back tray. I don't keep paper in my printer. I only insert the paper as needed. I'll speed this part up. I have my printed image and as always, I'm going to let it sit here on the heat plate. I have the HTV Ront heated up 360 degrees for 99 seconds. I have not found a way to increase the amount of seconds. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to let this sit here for about a minute or so. I always do that. I do not skip this step. I have the images prepared on my mat. I'm going to insert the mat into the Cricut and I am going to let the Cricut cut this out. This is print then cut. My images have been printed. Machine will cut it. I'm going to unload my mat. I'm going to peel the sheet away and I can see that my circles have been cut out. Let's go back over to the HTV Ront and get one of these pressed. I have my blank right here and I have some heat resistant tape on my fingers. I am going to place the image face down on the frosted side of the ornament. So there is a shinier side, a glass side, and then there is a frosted side. And I learned the <laughs> trial and error way that the image goes on the frosted side. Now I am going to place a sheet of butcher paper on my tray, on my plate. And it's important to note that the recommended setting for this is 360 degrees for four minutes or 240 seconds. So uh, since this heat press only heats up, only goes up to 99 seconds, I'm going to have to press it and then set it again. Okay, so we will see how this works because the only way to know is to know. And then we'll try it from our Cricut Easy Press and see if there's a difference. And we'll try this also from the 15 by 15 clamshell. And that'll give you, that will help you make an informed decision. I'm just adding two pieces of tape. I'm going to add a piece of butcher paper on top. So I have butcher paper, the ornament with the shiny side face down, the image taped down, and a piece of butcher paper on top of that. I'm going to press this in. I do not have it on auto. I'm going to press the R and let this start sublimating. Now I'm going to press it again for 99 seconds. Now I'm going to press it one more time. I'm not going to change the 99 seconds. I'm just going to watch it. I'm going to press the R and really it should go down to 42 seconds, but I'm probably going to let it go a little bit longer to 60 seconds. So I'll stop it once it gets to 39 seconds left. I have my heat resistant gloves. I'm sure this is going to be hot because it's glass, 
going to pull this out and hope that I did not get any ghosting because of that lifting and going back down. So the image is, I did get some ink release. We will show this how it came out at the end. Now let's press the next image with the Cricut Easy Press. I have my next image and I have my next ornament. Remember, I'm going to sublimate on the frosted side. So I'm going to, I'm actually gonna put the ornament like this so I can see it. Make sure no one is cut off. And then I will turn it over and get it taped down. I'm gonna tape it down really, really good. All of the pressure is determined by you. So I have butcher paper, I have the ornament, I have a sub paper, and I'm also going to put another piece of butcher paper that's just folded right on top. The easy press does go up to more than 240 seconds. It goes above 400 seconds. So I have 375 degrees, 240 seconds, and I am going to give this heavy pressure. I'm going to just lift it straight up and see the image so that's a good sign I will label this one Ooh, the paper is hot let's just call it easy press like that And we will do the last image at the StarCraft clamshell 15 by 15. I have my third image, third ornament. I'm going to place the image on the frosted side of the ornament, making sure that nobody's head is cut off and that the circle is at the top of the ornament. I already have some heat tape ready. I'm going to tape it down. And I'm going to place butcher paper on top. We'll press this one. 240 seconds. Let me open it first. Okay, so this is our third ornament. Let's move to my craft table so I can show you the results of all three and give you my final thoughts. Have all three of my ornaments pressed. Let's unveil them in the order that I pressed them. So I did the HTV Ron first. Let's see. This is completely cooled down. Okay, so this is how this one pressed. And I could see where it, I kind of didn't get it right here on the end. Let's see what the other side. Ooh, I still love it. OMG. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you've been with me, you know. If you know, you know. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So that's the HTV Ront. So with this one, I pressed this for, I did 99 seconds, 99 seconds, 60 seconds. Okay. This was the. Cricut Easy Press. Let's see what this one looks like. So for this one, I did 375 degrees for 240 seconds. Okay, Cricut Easy Press. Come on, Cricut Easy Press. Now with the Cricut Easy Press, remember all the pressure comes from you. So I think that one came out really nice too. Yes, look at that. Make sure you can see it, really, really see it. Really good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. And last but certainly not least was the StarCraft 15 by 15 clamshell. And, you know, this is the heat press that I use most often. If you've been following me, you already know that. Now, this is extremely vibrant. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I can see that there's some paper right here. I can just wipe that off. Let's look at the other side. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I attribute this to pressure. I really attribute this to having a lot of pressure. But at any rate, you can see that you can do this from any heat press that you have. If you have a similar one to any of the ones that I have. I love the way that all of these turned out and I have my ribbon already ready, already selected. I think they are all gorgeous. Please leave me a comment and let me know which one is your favorite. Did you love the one I did with HTV Runt, the Cricut Easy Press, or the one from the StarCraft 15 by 15 clamshell? I would love to hear what you think. If you found any value in this, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye!